guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another writing update. So in this writing update, I want to discuss all of my goals for like the first half of 2019 because I don't know if I'll be able to complete all of these things that I have planned. I don't know how long they're going to take me and so I don't know what's going to happen in the second half of the year. So this is just for the first seven months of the year. So I'm already filming this at the end of January so some of the things um, for January are already completed and I'll talk about those as I get to them but first I want to talk about my main goal for 2019 and then go by monthly. So essentially the main goal of 2019 is to try to do as many revisions. Why is Lorena calling me? Hello? Yeah. I'm filming a video. I was like, yeah, I want to get my hair cut, right? So I didn't say hairs, but you'd never say hairs. Yeah. And so he's like, oh, which hair are you getting cut? And so now it's this running joke that I, I was like, oh, I'll get this one. Or the day before I do it, I'll get you to choose the one hair you want me to cut. <laughs> my mind went um, to other places when you said, what hair are you getting cut? No, that's not good, Brittany. <laughs> that's not good. Okay. What's wrong with you? I don't know. Why can't you be normal? Joey, get your paw out of the door. Joey, that's my sweater. Joe! Oh my god, this dumbass cat. Okay, have fun. Make sure you don't cut all of that. I will. That was like 11 minutes. I'm cutting it out. Hey, goodbye. I hate you. Yes. <laughs> The main goal that I have for 2019 is to just do as many rounds of revisions and reasons why not to as possible. If you guys haven't been keeping up to date with these videos, Reasons Why Not To is my current work in progress. It's a novel that I've been writing for most of 2018. Um, on and off and so I'm very excited to get into revising it. I finished the first draft back in November during NaNoWriMo and I just I really want to go through as many rounds of revisions as possible, send it to friends, um, and just try to get it ready to start querying hopefully in 2020 which is crazy but that's kind of the goal. But that's the main goal of 2019 is to do just as many rounds of revisions as I possibly can. Um, to try and make it as good as possible. It's basically the goal. Okay, so now for monthly goals. Um, for January, I've already completed two out of the three goals that I set for myself. So the first goal was just to research writing, um, like writing craft, uh, revision processes, just to try to like help myself still like stimulate my brain and like learn um, because I'm not in school currently and so I still want to be learning about writing and still like like I said earlier, stimulating my brain. So if you've been watching writing vlogs, I'm pretty sure I've shown this in a couple, um, but this is my writing composition notebook. I have just a ton of notes in here just regarding different revision processes so I can try to find the one that fits best for me. Um, outlining processes, got all sorts of notes in here. So that one I have not like fully completed. I still want to continue to do that, but I, 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 I've done it this month. It's not completed um, entirely because, like I just said, I do want to do it continuously every single month all the time. Just trying to watch a lot of YouTube videos and better my learning of writing and the craft of writing and revising and everything. So one of the goals that I set for myself to do in January. Second goal was to print out my manuscript which I've done and I was mainly doing the research while I was waiting to print out my manuscript and I printed it out and I'm so happy with it so let me grab it so I can show you. So if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter you might have already seen a photo of my manuscript because I did post photos on it. Um, if you don't follow my social media make sure to follow them down below. They're always linked down in the description so make sure to go follow me on there. I know you might have already seen it if you follow those or what. This is my like official documentation of me printing out my manuscript. This is my manuscript. This is my baby. <laughs> I can't believe that I'm holding my manuscript in my hands right now. It's insane. So this is a title page that I made on Photoshop um, just to kind of spruce up the front so it wasn't like just like a plain color or just the title. 
so I added this polka dot background with this really beautiful font that says the title, obviously, Reasons Why Not To. So I absolutely adore it. It's a bit of a chunker. Um, the manuscript came out to 332 pages. Um, it is double-sided, um, and I have the same font running through all of the chapter headers. I'm just really happy with this. I can't wait to um, start marking it up. I'm really excited about this. So it's printed out. I'm in love. Uh, it makes me very happy to have this and to see it and I just, uh, I love it. Okay, let's move on. So the last goal that I had set for January was to read through this now printed document um, and start taking notes and everything so that I could start my um, second drafting process, revision process. I have not yet started this. I've had this thing for about a week, a week and a half. Um, mm -hmm. I'm procrastinating installing because I'm scared to start it because I'm scared that I'm going to start it and I'm not going to like it and I'm not going to want to continue working on it. That's my biggest fear but like I think I'll be okay, it's just my anxiety is getting in the way and telling me, girl, you're not good enough. I plan on starting it after filming videos today and I'm very nervous, um, but very excited to do so. Hopefully I can sort of check this goal off. It's gonna have to bleed into February, most likely, just because I am doing a bunch of YouTube stuff in the last little bit of the month here, so I don't know how focused I can be on writing, but I'm gonna do my best. February has um, a lot of stuff, not well, a lot of stuff, but like some stuff. Obviously I'm gonna continue reading through this if it's not already completed, which I don't think it will be. I want to research some things more thoroughly from my book. I already know without even reading my manuscript back through is that I didn't do enough research on nearly enough things. I need to research mental health more, specifically anxiety. I need to research um, different sexualities, specifically bisexuality and pansexuality. I also have different types of people of color in my novel that I do need to research more into. I want to make sure that I represent them properly. I want to make sure that I do research. Also therapy for anxiety, I also want to research more because I'm trying to incorporate that into my book. I have a ton of things that I need to um, research more thoroughly. Also conspiracy theories, which isn't as important. Um, definitely the other ones are going to take priority over that one. And then I also want to brainstorm ways to fix the problems that I found with my book through my read through. So if there are like big issues like plot issues, I need to like brainstorm how to fix those and how I want to go about approaching them in the book. So that's kind of February's goals. Um, March I'll probably continue the brainstorming and the research because I doubt it will be done. Um, February is a busy month. I'm going to be doing weekly reading vlogs um, for the booktube games which is a readathon hosted by Myona over at Little Wolf Reads and so I'm going to be participating in that and trying to read as much as I can to help Team Hogwarts win. I also put start re-outlining the book. That's my other goal for March, to start re-outlining. Um, I basically want to take all of the changes I've decided to make, all of my notes that I took, and re-outline. So I think I might try to use the Save the Cat beat sheet. I need to look into it more to see if it would be beneficial for me to use that method or if I should just wing it. Um, but I want to take whatever scenes are in here. If I cut scenes, I won't write them in, but I'll just write every scene that I'm keeping from the first draft and then I want to fill in the blanks, add um, all the new scenes and all the new shit that I brainstormed to add. And make sure that it's like, I want this outline to be really, really, like really, really detailed. My um, original outline that I was using during NaNoWriMo wasn't that detailed and I struggled a lot and I don't want to struggle that much during a second drafting process. I want it to run a lot smoother in terms of following my outline and like not feeling stuck as I'm writing. So I definitely want to work on that and make sure it's a really detailed outline and I know what's happening. Now, April, um, I'm going to finish the outline if it's not completed. I don't think I want it to be completed in March. I think I really want to take my time with it so I'll probably spend all of April working on it. In May, I want to start drafting again. I want to redraft the book, do my second draft of the novel, and 
implement all of those changes that I made, um, make sure I put my research in there, and just try to make a better version of the book. A version that I can be more proud of to share. Not that I'm not, like, already um, immensely proud of this thing, because I am. Um, I'm so proud of it. But it's not something that I necessarily want to send to my friends yet. And basically with this second draft, I want to get to the point where I feel confident enough to like send it off to my friends. In May, I'm going to be taking a week off of writing because I'm going on a cruise to Alaska with my parents. And so I don't want to bring my laptop and stuff and work on that cruise so I'm gonna allow that to be my one week vacation from writing um, and I'm really excited so that's what I'm gonna be doing for May so there is a week off there which might throw things off kilter so we'll see this is just like a tentative plan for what I want to do life happens some some of these things may not work out but that's fine in June or July I would love to finish draft two kind of depending like I said how everything goes with all these other months if everything goes according to plan I would love it to be finished in June or July like late June early uh, early July maybe and I want to do one more like quick read through um maybe with like minor editing but not like serious editing I want to read it through on my computer this time not on a printed manuscript and I just want to see if it's good enough to send to friends if I deem that it is good enough if I deemed that my second draft is better and more superior than the first draft and I feel confident and proud in it then I will send it off to a couple of friends. I'm thinking if they're all available and free to read it, I will send it to Peyton from Peyton Reads, Julia from A Reader's World, and Alyssa from um, A Court of Books and Pages. Those are like my three friends that I talk to writing about all the time, and so I trust them to give me their opinions and everything, and so I think that that will go really well. Um, I just want to make sure that they all have time to read it and be able to give um, as much attention and um, give me all the critiques that they can. I just want to make sure that they have the time to do that and that's why I'm excited that it kind of falls over the summer so hopefully they won't have that many things taking up their time. We'll have to just see. Yeah, so that's kind of all that I have written down for this video. I don't really know what's going to happen in the rest of the year after July, um, but I'm hoping that all of this goes according to plan, and then while they have the book, I can try to figure out what I want to do for the rest of the year um, and how many more rounds of revisions the book's going to need. I don't know how many it's going to need. Um, I'm assuming a lot. That was my writing update and my writing goals. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Give it a huge thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Comment down below um, what your writing goals are for the first half of 2019 or for all of 2019, which you're currently working on. All the details let me know down below. Um, subscribe if you have not yet already. I'd really appreciate it. Remember, all my social media links are always linked down below for you to go ahead and click on and follow me um, so you can keep up to date in real time, not just when I film videos, on what's going on in my life because I do... I do uh, tweet a lot, so make sure you go follow my Twitter. Um, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time.